What's up everybody and welcome. On today's episode, I finally get to build a hybrid turbo. So let's check out what I got today. To start off, I got a brand new eBay Turbo that's gonna be my donor. Don't worry folks, the only thing I'm using from this is the compressor housing, the wheel that's inside, and the back plate. I got my new Garrett turbine wheel, and then I got the stock turbo uh, with the parts that I'm gonna use. Unfortunately, you don't get to see me take apart the stock turbo because she's already empty inside. I'm gonna take this back apart. The only thing I'm keeping is the compressor side and if you can see down there, the center housing. So what I'm gonna do is first tear down the new turbo, which I got for ridiculously cheap. Um, I'm gonna tear this down, take the compressor parts I need and swap everything all together and see how it fits. So here's the part where I'm just gonna time lapse this whole part. Enjoy. So here's a comparison of some of the parts and what I'll be using to assemble this hybrid turbo. Here's the new and the old turbine wheels. This is the new compressor backplate housing and wheel. This is the stock backplate housing and wheel. Obviously I'm reusing the stock turbine housing, the CHRA, and this is the heat shield for the CHRA. So the sizing is just a little bit off between basically the distance between these is just a hair off. So I'm just gonna drill these out ever so tiny to give me the extra clearance I need. So, my battery is running low, so I'm just gonna record this once I'm done. So that took a little while, but I finally got 
back plate onto the center housing. What I ended up having to do is, with my Dremel, slot the holes a little bit inboard because surprisingly, even though this is a bigger back plate, the bolt pattern here actually is a little bit smaller. But it wasn't that big a deal. Just took the Dremel, gave it a little bit extra room. Good as new. So it looks like if I want the wastegate to work, I got a couple options. I can get a new bracket and a new wastegate actuator. Or I can try slotting the bracket here. See how well that works. Yesterday when I finished, I thought I was gonna need a new wastegate actuator and mount. However, after matching up one of the uh, retainers for the turbine, I realized I was able to I can actually slot the wastegate actuator bracket, the holes on the bracket, and still have enough material left to secure this thing on there. So, as you can see here, I've already made some marks on the bracket on how much material I need to remove. And then I'm gonna go ahead and test fit it onto the turbine. Or, not turbine, compressor housing. Here's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the turbo together and see how it works. My wastegate actuator idea actually worked. I also wanted to test it, but I don't have a compressor to test it. However, I do have a bicycle pump. So what I've done is hook up the pump to the vacuum line. Amazing. 